Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, September 7th. Cool is the word. Goodness, yesterday was the coolest September 6th on record here, and uh, maybe a little warmer today, but still way, way, way below average. Uh, let's go to some of the Skycam shots early this morning. Feels so good. Everybody in the 50s. That's just fantastic. That's coming from uh, Coleman. Down below, that's US 278. There's a look at downtown Fayette at the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock this morning. And we'll go way down south. That's the Gulf Shores sky cam. Could there be another tropical system at some point in the not-too-distant future that will impact them? We'll take a look at that. I'm not saying it will happen, but we'll just take a look. Look at that deep trough. And you can see those clouds that are over the northern part of Alabama, and those are going to be stubborn today. In our ongoing forecast, we have the proverbial mix of sun and clouds. But if you are east of I-65 and north of Interstate 20, you might be in the clouds much of the day. As we all know how pesky those things can be. Uh, temperatures this morning are looking good. I see everybody in the 50s. One spot's above 60, and that's the Shoals. They've got 61. But everybody else kind of tightly clustered between 56 and 59 degrees. Just like fall. So nice. And really around the nation, numbers are looking good. I see 50s all over Texas this morning and uh, re readings up north are in the 40s as the uh, hot weather is just gone. I mean, you have to go over to Phoenix to find really any warm weather this morning. On the watch warning map, still some flash flood issues up in the northeast with the remnants of Lee and a slight risk of severe weather up there. Washington, D.C., Baltimore, but around here, of course, severe weather, obviously not an issue with it being so cool and stable. And rain, not much for the next five days. This valley through Sunday. Uh, again, there could be a little lingering drizzle this morning, but most of Alabama will be dry for the next five days. Uh, heaviest rain, of course, up in the northeast with the Lee remnants. Boy, I need a program to keep up with all these uh, these guys out here in the tropics. Uh, uh, Katia, TD-14. Bay of Campeche wave, wave approaching the leewards, and a wave off the coast of Africa. First off, we'll start with Katia, the hurricane. Uh, not as strong today based on uh, satellite estimation techniques. Uh, the sustained winds estimated now at 90 miles an hour. And no change. This is going to be passing uh, between Bermuda and the east coast of the United States, and then the slingshot out to the North Atlantic as a post-tropical system this weekend, so I'm not going to worry about that one too much. This is TD-14 that is in the central Atlantic. Uh, looking pretty good. Got a central dense overcast, nice banding features. and uh, There's the modeling on TD-14. Uh, models want to bring it north of Puerto Rico in uh, four days and then ultimately north of uh, Hispaniola. And as we often mention, uh, typically up in that position, uh, they will not be Gulf of Mexico issues. We don't think this will. And uh, really, the, the models do not intensify this. Now, you got, you know, a couple of outliers. The, the GFDL goes nuts, but the GFDL has not done well this season. It tries to bring it up to a major hurricane. Most models keep this thing as a tropical storm because of shear out there, and I think that's the right solution. And the Hurricane Center does as well. They keep it a tropical storm for the next uh, four days. And then finally bring it to a minimal hurricane uh, late Sunday night, early Monday morning, uh, north of Hispaniola. And uh, the uh, GFS does a recurve on this, much like uh, Katia. And uh, with the persistent eastern U.S. trough, I just believe that that is the right solution. So uh, it's not going to be a problem. But woo now. How about this thing in the Bay of Campeche? Old front down there. We, we know these can be problematic. Uh, uh, that thing might crank up and what's it gonna do well really most of the models just kind of leave this thing sitting in the same spot for the next five days it just sits there and spins its wheels uh, the, the canadian wants to bring it up in here in about five days as, as the european did yesterday and again i'll show you the european later it wants to bring it up in here but beyond five days it's going to be like in a in a week um and the bam set still drifts it back into mexico 
but I think the idea of that thing just kind of hanging out down there for a while might be correct. But with this persistent eastern U.S. trough, that thing hangs around there long enough, it might be pulled up this way. So our friends on the uh, Gulf Coast will need to keep an eye on this thing. Uh, there's the intensity uh, guidance and, uh, you know, most keep it a tropical storm just sitting there. So we'll see. But for now, we will not, you know, we'll discount any effect on that here for the next five days, but watch it for next week. Let's look at global modeling. This is the GFS for the OZ run ballot at seven o'clock local time this evening. Eastern U.S. trough. That's the one that's going to turn Katia out to sea. And down below that, I don't think we see any rain today. But again, the, the, the cloud issue is always a tough one. Uh, if you are in uh, Anniston or Fort Payne or Gadsden or Center or Heflin, you could be in the clouds all day today. I mean, you, just, you know, the way it works. And if you're in Tuscaloosa, in Centerville, in Demopolis, you'll probably be in bright sunshine all day. And where, where the sun is out will be in the 70s, where the clouds hang tough, highs only in the 60s today. Tomorrow, everybody should be in the sun tomorrow. Uh, I'm talking mid to upper 70s and Friday, low 80s with a sunny sky. Saturday, as we start the weekend, still got persistent troughing over the eastern half of the nation. Down below that, underneath that upper low, showery weather north of here. And again, you might consider some risk of a shower near the Tennessee border, but around here it just looks nice. Partly to mostly sunny with low 80s. And the same thing on Sunday. We warm up into the mid-80s. And we should, keep in mind, we should be in the upper 80s this time of the year. Still below average. And in the tropics, uh, you've got what should be Maria, well north of uh, Hispaniola. And then you've got the uh, Bay of Campeche system. It's kind of the GFS drifts it back into Mexico. Monday of next week, the, the Bay of Campeche system is in Mexico and off the board. Uh, Maria is making the turn. Let's go to Tuesday of next week. Again, at that point, we're still dry. Wednesday, cold, cold front coming in from the north. Again, Maria, Maria's making the turn. It's going out to sea. No impact on the United States. And uh, we'll go to Thursday of next week. This is uh, September 15th. The cold front coming in here, a new surge of continental air. But let me show you the, the uh, European on Thursday. Oh, that's our Bay of Campeche system. That's uh, 12Z uh, Thursday, 7 a.m. local time. So uh, the, the European has been very persistent in the idea of bringing the Bay of Campeche system up into the central Gulf Coast with another big wet down like Lee. But the GFS drifts it into Mexico, no impact here. Who do you believe? You know, I, I would tend to believe, based on climatology, that this might be right, that we could very well have another tropical system and a big wet down in maybe a week or so. To, of course, we just don't know yet, but let's just keep an eye on things. That's the old gut feeling here. End of the forecast. Hey, hey, look at that trough over the east. This is September 22nd. Another nice push of continental air. But, boy, the heat is just gone. Yeah, I mean, typically we have some hot weather here in September, but uh, based on everything we're seeing now, it sure looks like uh, uh, temperature is going to be below average this month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by... Uh, 3.30 or so this afternoon. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.